Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to install custom iOS's using D2X CIOS installer on the Wii with or without internet connection. If you can connect your Wii to the internet, there will be a step you can skip, but I'll explain that later. This guide is for the Wii only, as steps for the Wii U's virtual Wii are slightly different, and I'm making this video because it has been updated from beta 1 to beta 3. But to get started, go to this website, which is linked down in the description. It's the official guide, and we are going to grab the D2X CIOS installer. Just click on it, it'll take us to Open Shop channel. Scroll down where it says download file under the zip and we'll get a zip file for the actual app. Once you have that, you can exit out. So now we have the app downloaded. There is also a step, especially if you do not have internet connection. If you scroll down, there's instructions on how to get these wads yourself, but I've already gone through and done this and I made a file here with all the updated CIOS wads. There's four different ones. So if you don't want to use NUS Downloader and make them yourself, I have that resource available to you as well. But it is pretty easy. All you do is download NUS Downloader. I'll just show you quick. Extract it, run the exe file. If you do get this, it is a safe program, it's fine, you can click more info and run anyway. And then this will pop up. And then all you do is follow these instructions here. So we're gonna go to database, iOS, you find iOS 38, and then it says 4123. Click on that, make sure packwad is checked, make sure patch iOS is not checked, and click NUS download. It's pretty simple, but you do have to do that four times for these three here. It's pretty simple, but again, I did download these wads myself and set them up for a download for you. And where your NUSD files are, you'll see titles. Go inside, you should see that iOS number we chose. And iOS 38, 64, wad. This is the wad you want. So that's how you do that way. Or you can do the easy way. Go to the link in the description for this Google Drive page I created. Click download and then you'll get all four wads that you need lickety split, just like that. So once you have the app and the wads, just minimize the guide for now. Open up your downloads, clean that up, and you should have D2X CIOS installer as a zip file and updated CIOS wads if you chose to get those. Again, you technically don't need these if you have an internet connection on your Wii, but it's really quick and easy to download them and it makes sure that you don't have any issues with your connection. The beta 3 update should eliminate most of those issues, but you never know. So my downloads are on the left, my SD card I used to mod my Wii is on the right. So now open up the CIOS installer zip file and grab this apps folder and drag it onto the root of your SD card. It will go into your apps folder and have D2X CIOS installer. Inside you'll see beta 3, that is the updated version. We have that, we can go back to our downloads, delete the CIOS installer zip, don't need it anymore. And now open up the wads, go inside of this folder so you see these four wads, highlight them all and drag them onto the root of your SD card. Just like that, we're good. You can go back to your downloads and delete. And now your SD card is set up. And yes, this also works if you have these set up on your USB drive. Just make sure that these four wads are on the root of your SD card or USB drive and not in your wad folder if you have that currently. But once you have all that set up, we can eject it and head over to the Wii. Now we can go into the homebrew channel. You should see D2X CIOS installer loaded up. Just press A to continue and you should see this screen. Yours will be pink or purple, whichever color that looks like to you. Mine's red because I already have these installed. But what you're gonna do is change these settings to install each wad. So the top line, select CIOS. We're gonna go right on the D-pad to V11 beta three. And also if you do not see V11 beta three, make sure your SD card is not right locked, which is the plastic tab on the left side. Make sure it's pushed up. Go down to base, we're gonna change it to 38. CIOS slot, go to 248, and the bottom revision, go right all the way to 65535. Once you have those settings, press A to continue, A again to install. You should see that first green bar automatically full, that's because we have the offline wads. If you didn't use the wads and you're on internet, it will download the uh, metadata first. So having the wads is also quicker, which is nice. But just let that install and then we'll do it three more times with the other wads. 
All right, it's done, it's green, it was successful. If it froze at any point, you can just try to close the program and retry it. It might take a couple tries. I've had Wii's freeze like three times before. But if it was successful, press A to continue. And now we're gonna change the settings for the next one. So next one, we're gonna leave it at beta three. The base is gonna be 56. The slot is gonna be 249. And the revision, 65535. Press A, press A again to install. And CIOS 249 is the most important because that's what most games use to load. And if you didn't know, installing these custom iOS's are going to allow you to play games from your SD card or USB drive. And that one's done, press A to continue. And now we're gonna change the base to 57, the slot to 250, and install that one. Installed, press A to continue. Now we're gonna change the base to 58, and the slot to 251 and press A twice to install that one. And boom, that is the last one. So now you can press B and return to the homebrew channel. And at this point, you can now delete those four wads that we had on the root of your SD card. And you're completely set up to play your games on your Wii using USB Loader GX or Wii Flow. If you guys need a guide for that, check the description and I can help you there. Make sure to hit that like button if this video helped you out. I appreciate the support and I'll see you on the next one. Stay funky and happy modding. <laughs>